are going to talk about menstrual disorders. The disorders of menstruation can affect females in different ways and it's very common in them. The usual manifestations are abnormal bleeding, absence of periods or painful periods. The abnormal bleeding can manifest either as fluctuations in the flow or fluctuations in the cycle of periods. There can be various reasons for this. It can be either pathological or physiological. The physiological reasons are the natural reasons which can heal by itself. The most common is extremes of age, the perimenopausal age or the age around the adolescence. Because of the hormonal fluctuations, it can cause abnormal bleeding. The other reasons can be eating disorders, excessive exercise or stress. Among the pathological reasons, the most common, in fact 25% of the ladies have anatomical abnormalities. The anatomical abnormalities means there is a structural problem in the uterus in the form of either fibroids which is like a small nodule in the uterus or the polyp which is a small growth inside the cavity. It can be adenomyosis which is like the ingrowing of the endometrium inside the muscle of the uterus. Next is hormonal disturbance. Nowadays we are encountering many ladies having hormonal disbalance the most common being polycystic ovarian disease. Any type of hormonal fluctuation in females has a huge impact on their menstruation. This disorder can be either in the pituitary gland, the thyroid, the adrenals or the ovary itself. One of the other reasons can be use of contraceptive pills or devices or the treatment for epilepsy or depression. The take home message is there can be various reasons and it affects the day to day life of the ladies. The diagnosis as well as the treatment of this disorder is usually very simple. So all the ladies having the persistent problem are requested to go and meet their gynecologist. We take a pledge, we'll treat you well.